Hi guys, it's Emily from Doe Deer Nursery here. I am actually on an outing right now with little Miss Laura Danielle. We're at Walmart picking up a few things. I'm actually in the Easter section right now, which I don't know about you guys, but I love Easter. I just, I love spring in general. Um, I'm not very religious or anything, but it's just always been a big holiday for my family to celebrate together and yes this is what I was looking for these little Easter loveys I have the pink one at home and I wanted the blue one too so I'm gonna get that they also have our, oh my god they're rattles I might I might have to get these too um we'll see we'll see how much stuff I end up getting maybe I'll have to put these back but they're so cute They've got tons of like cheap stuff. I actually, this would be really nice to send home with some babies. These are, no way are these a dollar each. They're a dollar each. I'm going to stock up on a bunch of stuffed animals right now. Look, it's got a little bunny. If they have a deer, I'm going to freak out. Lots of bunnies mostly, which makes sense. Obviously, it's Easter. But frogs for boys. Oh my god, you guys, I'm gonna go stuffed animal crazy. Okay, well, I'm gonna look at some Easter stuff and then maybe head on over to the baby section after. I'll show you guys what I find there. They literally have one bag of polyfill left. Uh, they're all gone. This isn't what I usually get. But it'll have to do for now until I can get more. Because that, I don't know why there's a run on polyfill right now. But um, I'll just get that for now and I guess we'll restock later. Um, sorry if I wasn't pointing the camera at stuff really well earlier. I was too excited about the $1 cute little plushy stuffed animals. So I was just kind of flailing about. But now we're headed to the baby section. There are quite a few people here, so we will see how this goes. Excuse me. Let me just quickly show you little Laura. She's in here in her outfit. I have her mitts on, but I just, I don't know, her hands look so cute and real. I just exposed one. She's got her little pacifier in. I think she's super cute, so I'm mostly just keeping her pretty covered because I'm not really trying to draw attention to her but yeah so we'll see what stuff there is in the baby section right now. so the funniest thing just happened literally the second I clicked off the camera some guy was rolling through on his shopping cart like with his feet up on the shopping cart and he ran into a big stack of diapers and baby wipes and knocked them all down um, it was kind of hilarious but anyway I'm in the pacifier section now and oh yay they have these parents choice pacifiers which I really like and they're cheap and um, they have them in these cute new colors so I'm gonna get these. just got a really great reaction to where someone saw Laura and went oh how cute how little we're gonna be there soon because his wife or girlfriend was pregnant but I'm always too shy to have the camera on when people are around Anyway, here are the bassinets and stuff. Um, I'm not really, I don't know, I don't really buy baby furniture. Because um, I don't really need it. But what I am going to do, hopefully, my grandmother has um, this like vintage doll cradle that she says I can have. If I remember, I think it's wood. Um, if she'll let me, I might paint it white. But oh, the swings are cute. Here's this little hairbrush and comb set I got the other day for Miss Sayla because she's going to have rooted hair. All these sleepers are on sale. They're only $5 a piece, but I've got a lot of sleepers right now. You can see all these clearance balloons. A ton of the baby stuff is on sale. I feel like I've kind of picked through it a lot already. <laughs> Future Batgirl. Um, but yeah, it's always fun to look anyway. Like I said, I'm not really looking for baby stuff today. I actually came for like real practical things I need, but oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to the health tech section, you guys. So Walmart has this health techs brand that I hadn't really seen very much, at least at my Walmart before. But it's got some really cute stuff and everything's like $6. 
I got this set last time I was here, this denim set. The unfortunate thing is I don't even know if they make newborn. I think they might only go as small as zero to three months. Um, and even that's hard to find. Oh my god, look at all the Easter dresses. Again, I have like absolutely no reason to get a froofy Easter outfit, but they're just all so cute. All right, I'm going to poke around a little bit. If there's anything I'm freaking out over, I'll show you guys. I said I don't need anything, but look at this floral Easter dress. It's 15 bucks, so honestly, I'm probably not going to get it. The wise thing to do would be to wait till after Easter when all the Easter dresses go on sale. But I don't know if they'll still have size newborns. There's that one. There's also this pink one. Which I think would be, it looks like a ballerina outfit. And Sayla, my baby girl that I'm expecting, she's kind of like unintentionally developed a ballerina theme. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that her artist was posting this really cute like story of Sayla and a stuffed like princess, ballerina princess toy and a little bear toy. And it was just so funny and cute. And they were dancing together and stuff, so this little kind of ballerina theme has sort of evolved for her, at least in my mind. And I got this pink bonnet from Once Upon a Whimsy I'm waiting for that would look so cute with this, so let's think about it. And then they also have these Child of Mine dress and diaper cover sets. It's zero to three, so it might be a bit big for her. But I've heard a lot of people say that Serenity is like a large newborn. So she could fit some um, zero to three month stuff. It just might be kind of big on her. So here's the like cheapest clearance stuff. It's still not super cheap. Like it's still I think seven dollars. But I'm kind of crazy about my box packings. I like to send home lots of stuff, and I would say almost every time I do a box packing. I go over budget in terms of like not at, not at the cost of my clients at my own um, at my own expense where I'll you know allow a certain amount to put towards clothes and I always go over it so it's cutting into my own profits but honestly it's you know it's fun for me to send them home with lots of stuff okay that's cute that's size newborn and it's only four fifty that is gonna go home with my baby boy sans up. So you see, you see what I mean? You see how easy it is for me to do this? Let's see if I can find some newborn girl. Oh, I like the local celebrity outfit too, but I feel like I've purchased that before. Okay, this child of mine stuff is $4.50. Come on, give me some newborn girl. They've got newborn girl sleepers, but I've already got a sleeper for Laura Danielle. We'll see what else I can find. I love this springy stuff over here. This little boy's yellow outfit is so cute. I don't have a personal collection boy, and I haven't since, for a while, since my um, Zachary kit, who I sold, I think in like November or December. But I keep thinking in the back of my mind, I'm planning on making my set myself a set of um, twin A and B. One will be a girl, one will be a boy. I still haven't decided which will be which. But every time I see really cute boy stuff, I think like, oh, that could go to him. Like, this? Are you kidding me? Look at how cute this is. And with the dress, can you imagine a set of twins, a boy and a girl, in these Easter outfits? I feel like I always forget that Gerber has stuff. Um, Gerber and I think, I guess this is like Walmart brand. They've got this cute onesie, which this is one I'm not used to seeing here. And they're $2 and the pants are $2. So I like, I like this with the blue, but... I'm trying to think of the onesie, the other onesies I'm sending home with her. And I think there's a lot of pink. So it might be good to match with that. What the heck is the other... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the other outfits I'm sending with her. 
and the hot pink would actually be super cute with those outfits. So that's what we'll do. Let me put these blue ones back. Okay, like I said, I'm a total freak. I, I always feel like I need to send more stuff home with my babies, even when they have plenty of stuff. But anyway, that's just, it's just $4 worth of stuff. It's not, it's not a crazy amount. Okay, I'm like bumping into everything right now. I love all this stuff too. All these like springy floral patterns. Here's one I hadn't seen before. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That. Here's this little denim one again. I just wish these things went down to size newborn. It's like the smallest is zero to three, which, oh, that's cute. Little turtle. Which hopefully that'll fit Sayla okay. Hopefully she won't be like swimming in them. We will find out. So in terms of baby stuff, I'm not getting much. I'm going to get this for Laura. This is only $4.50. I'm going to get that for Sansa. And then I'm going to get this for myself for Miss Sayla. We'll hope it fits. If not, I'll shrink it. But yeah. All right. I'm just going to go on to do my regular shopping now. I've got my polyfill. I've got a few clothes. Cut off, but I was saying I got tons and tons of these stuffed animals. I can't believe they were a dollar. Got one pack of pacifiers. I may end up passing on the rattles just because they're like four dollars. And if I'm getting all these stuffed animals, I can't really justify also getting two rattles and another lovey. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go do my regular shopping now. Um, thank you guys for joining me on my first somewhat successful reborn outing and I will talk to you guys soon say bye to little Laura bye bye guys